By five o'clock, still no fuel has been delivered to Air France Flight 8969. The hijackers know the French negotiators are in the control tower. They decide to send them a message. One of the terrorists opened the side window of the cockpit and hosed down the control tower. The glass shattered all around us. We were literally machine gunned. Since we had landed in Marseille, there had been some moments of tension, but nothing like what seemed to be about to happen. We're going to succeed in our mission, Captain. Don't worry about that. Major Favier has been given carte blanche by the French Prime Minister, Edouard Balladur. He decides the moment has come to act. When the terrorists started firing with an automatic weapon on the tower, there was danger inside the plane, so we now had justification for an armed attack. That attack was carried out from the air stairs, which are mobile vehicles. At that moment, everybody understood, them and us, that it was the beginning of the assault. The cavalry charge is underway. This is actual footage of the attack. There are eight of us on the front right air stair. The first air stair gets to the aircraft. There's a small problem with the height as it was a little bit higher than the, than the door. The door hits the top of the air stair, a slight step back, the door opens, the air stair touches the plane and the group goes in. Then it's the apocalypse. Get down! Get down! Don't move! And then the group that has gone in comes under a deluge of fire from the terrorists who shoot at everyone who enters, an extremely murderous fire. There's not a moment's doubt about the nature of this gunfire. They are shooting to kill. At the rear of the plane, the other two squads of Favier's men enter. Move! Go! 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 So I hear, hands on your head, don't move, hide, get down as low as you can. I just wished to escape. The situation we were in was extremely violent, so I pulled the overcoat I had over my head so I wouldn't see the tracer bullets whizzing past, nor what was going on around. Hundreds of bullets are whistling through the air. Grenades are exploding. There is smoke and confusion everywhere. I was in a rather bad spot, so I tried to make myself as small as possible. You stop breathing, and you imagine that you're hard enough to stop the bullets. The snipers on the terminal roof can see the terrorists in the cockpit, but frustratingly can't get a clear shot. The co-pilot is blocking their view. But that problem is about to be solved. Actual video footage shows the co-pilot, Jean-Paul Bordelier, falling onto the hard concrete. Yet he still manages to stagger away to safety. It gives the snipers the chance they've been waiting for. The French news footage captures amazing scenes of the battle. A Zhijian man is blasted out of the plane by gunshots. The flight engineer and I looked at each other. We knew exactly the situation we were in. As long as there were gunshots, we knew we could die. But once it stopped, or when we thought it had stopped, then we said, all right, it's over.